Hello, Wani. Can you hear me? Hello, I can hear you. Hello, Junji. Hello, everyone. Hello, Wani. Hello, Junji. Hello, Shui. Uh, hi, Vani, uh, Yi, and uh, Jingjie. Hello, Shui, all of you. Good morning. Uh, Feynman will not join today. So, Wani, uh, how about Pratesh? Will he join? He should be able to join. Let me try to ping him one second. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we need him for the topics. This... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let uh -huh. me ping him. I pinged him, he should join. Okay, thanks. Uh, I'm now enabling the YouTube live. Hello, Pradesh. Hey, hi, everyone. Hey, Pradesh. I'm now start enabling the live streaming, but it seems there are some settings changed. I cannot enable it. Uh, give me one minute. Uh, it's a little bit straight. Yeah, I think we can, yeah, I can do, I can check the configuration for the live settings later. Um, I was not allowed for enable it, uh, although I am the owner, it asking for additional privilege for live streaming. Let me check it later. So for today's meeting, I will manually upload the meeting to YouTube from the Zoom storage to the YouTube, okay? So, yeah, let me share the screen for the agenda.
Can you see my screen now? Uh, yes, I can see your screen. Yes, see, we can see. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for today's meeting, I collected two topics. Uh, I think uh, uh, those are mo most important that we need to um, uh, discuss. So if we have time later, um, if you have any other topics, uh, feel free to bring it up. Okay. Uh, starting from the first one, uh, it's about the circuit audit. Uh, it's uh, next Friday, uh, September 20th Pacific time. Um, and uh, based on our previous plan, we will target 1.3 RC1 for the audit. Um, however, um, we are still a bit uh, lack of the schedule. Behind the schedule, that's uh, the CRL PRs. Um, uh, there's no um, progress on CRL future, which is uh, um, our plan for the audit. So I would like to discuss how can we um, address this uh, in this two week because we still have two weeks time for the uh, 1.3 RC.1. And I think most importantly that uh, we needed to um, have the mandatory feature uh, CIL um, merged into the uh, main branch and also cut the release for it. And for the uh, CIL PRs, uh, previously in previous meeting, I mean the two weeks ago, that uh, we, we will have around uh, uh, three PRs for the uh, CIL. Um, the most important one is the one I list here, the notation Corvo one. So um, I'm not sure, Pratesh, you did uh, a review last week uh, because I saw you, uh, I saw you, um, the, the eye facing uh, on reviewing the PRs. Yep, I Maybe you can that. share, yeah. I did start doing, I didn't complete the review. Since there were other PRs which I needed to look into it for 1.1.1 release. 1.2.1. Oh, yeah, 1.1.1. So I didn't, wasn't able to complete the review. I should be able to complete the review by tomorrow, end of day. Yeah, because, um, yeah, thanks, Pradesh, for sharing the status. Um, because this PR has been opened for, uh, I think, uh, including this week, will be um, more than three weeks now. So can we set a target for this one? And also based on the security audit timeline. So can we set a target, uh, let's say uh, by this uh, Wednesday? So a uh, lot later than Wednesday because we already have uh, uh, two approvals now. Yep. So, yeah, not later than this Wednesday, let's make a progress on this PR and try our best to to, to merge it because after this PR, we will have uh, um, other two PRs needed to be reviewed. Is that okay for you, uh, Pradesh? Can we, uh, maybe you can prioritize uh, your time for this PR? Yep. I can try to do it tomorrow, yeah. Okay. So let's target this Wednesday um to merge this PR. Okay, once they Pacific time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're still targeting uh the one dot three RC release for security audit. Uh uh let's check the status uh um this week. Okay. Um Okay, that's for the CIL. Uh, Junjie, Patrick, Shui, do you have additional comments? Um, nope. Uh, we just need the CIL PR uh, merged, and then we can work on the uh, cash PR. Okay. That one is also uh, under the notation Kogo, right? Yes, I think so. 
Uh, I think there are two PRs in the Nolipoco. One is the CIO and the Nazi is the CIO cash. Yeah. So this uh, for uh, protest information. So uh, this one, uh, CIO is the most important one. And after that, we will uh, work, uh, we will request your review on the CIO cash. Okay, so let's target this Wednesday Pacific time for at least the merge the PR. Um, this one, uh, one dot four, uh, one, uh, two, one, four. Okay. And let me check whether Toddy joined, uh, you know. Yeah, so um, for the circuit audit, anything uh, you would like to discuss, um, Wendy, Pritesh, or Shrey, Patrick, for the circuit audit? Um, based on the meeting request, uh, request there will be, um, I mean, sent send by the um, OSTIF, um group uh, there will be around uh, some uh, round table introduction it seems there is a new some some new team will um uh, conduct the um audits and also uh, some reminder on uh, our aligned scope previously uh, and also some other stuff to kick off do you have anything um, you want to discuss or you think that we should uh, prepare before that meeting No? Yeah, I okay. have a question. Yeah. Is yeah. it any difference than what we went through our first uh, OSTIF uh, uh, security review? I think few a year back or so, we had the same thing, right? Is it any difference this time? How we do? Yeah, not much difference. Uh... Uh, last uh, last year we did a review on the uh, notation one dot zero uh, RC six or RC seven I think at that time, and it basically uh, working through the code right code review and also they also did uh, fuzzy testing and also reviewed the uh, thread modeling at that time. Yeah. Um, so for this time, basically the similar scope, but uh, we have additional features. Uh, I think that uh, uh, is the major difference. Okay, yeah. And, 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 and uh, just extra yeah. features, but the same process. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah similar process, but uh, the audit team seems the different. So maybe they have some, some uh, different process or toolings from their side. Yeah, but uh, for that part, we can wait for the circuit audit team, uh, so, uh, circuit audit kick kick off meeting for confirm it. Okay. Is there any update to the threat model that we all have to review and uh, align with, or there are based on the new features? There is no update on the threat model. Yeah, previously, uh, we think there will be some changes on the, uh, um, uh, due to the blob sign. Because uh, it's allowed for the offline, uh, uh, uh not offline sign the uh, files on file system. It's, uh, um, it 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 will have a. Uh, I mean, update on the thread modeling, but uh, um, this time uh, blob sign was not included for the audit. So I think in general, uh, the current thread modeling is uh, is okay. Okay, thanks. I was thinking, uh, I'm not sure, uh, 
once we have this flag and the OCI 1.1, is there anything that we need to specify in the threat model or not really? Uh, that is uh, uh, related to the interaction with the uh, registry with this referrals API support. We already have that uh, registry entity in the uh, thread modeling. Um, so I don't think uh, this will uh, impact the thread model. Okay. Yeah, and I think uh, uh, during the security audit, maybe um, the audit team will have some additional requests on updating the threat modeling. But uh, um, yeah, we will see. Uh, I don't think uh, we needed to prepare anything specifically before the kickoff meeting. Um, but we can uh, anyway address any comments or later on we find something that we, we should uh, update the threat modeling, we can do that uh, in parallel. Okay, uh, if no more uh, comments on the circuit audit, we can move to the next topic. <clears throat> okay, uh, the next topic is uh, to charge uh, the issues for dotation V2. Um, actually, because last week we um, we uh, canceled once for the uh, notary project meeting due to uh, public holidays. So uh, this topic actually uh, was uh, brought up, uh, I think uh, uh, two weeks ago. Um, so today I would like to that continue the discussion and also share some um, some uh, information that uh, I um, um, during my offline uh, review on the current uh, uh, issues. Yeah, I saw someone is updating the agenda for this uh, public holiday information. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, thank you, Shui. Okay, um, for the uh, for the notation V two, um, I list uh, several features that we discussed previously. Uh, the blob sign and attestation, I think, are epic feature, epic level feature. Uh, the first one is actually that uh, one of the reason that we want to, um bump up the major uh, version for the notation from V1 to V2. Um, that is related to the referrals uh, uh, API behavior. Uh, so currently for uh, storing signatures, I mean, uh, when using notation sign, uh, by default, it is the tag schema was used. Um, so um, uh, Pradesh also mentioned this previously that we should uh, um, uh, updates the default behavior as uh, OCI 101 uh, was officially uh, released and the more and more registry um, are adopting to the uh, referrals API. Um, so for this one, uh, Pradesh, I, uh, I checked uh, in the um, notation repo, but I didn't find uh, a proper issue related to it. I remember last time, uh, we discussed that you will create a, a issue for it, right? I'm not sure I remember correctly. Sorry, can you please repeat the question? 
Yeah, I didn't find uh I didn't find an issue related to this using reverse API by default for storing signatures. I don't think we created an issue. We did have a milestone, but I didn't have um, a... Yeah, I, I was thinking that maybe um you can create an issue for it. Yeah, I will do that. Let me do it right now. Yes, so currently for the 2.0 is empty. For 1.3, um, uh, we will talk about this later because uh, considering the timeline for the 1.3 release, uh, it seems that we have too many uh, issues. So we need to uh, charge those issues and uh, maybe move some issues to later release. Uh, and also, For the feature release, uh, I also did the find the um, issue for the reverse API. Uh, yeah, similarly for the discuss. And Pradesh, can you create one? Um, for this issue. And also one thing, um, yeah, thank you for creating it. One thing I think we need to discuss is that, uh, yeah, I think this is basically uh, an issue that we need to later on to add more information about it. And uh, um, I think we need to clarify uh, that, for example, for the notation sign, right, we change the default behavior to using the reverse API. And uh, uh, if the registry does not support, there will be automatically fallback. This is uh, straightforward. There's another thing that we discussed previously is about the, uh, the format of the uh, signature. So we also need to discuss whether we need to uh, change the default uh, signature format. Uh, if we do not change, we also may need to consider in the uh, request from user to uh, support the artifact type. We have an issue from, uh, I think, created by uh, Harbor community requesting on the artifact type support. That is also related to the OCI 1.1. Yeah, um, so for this uh, work we are going to do in uh, notation uh, way two, Pradesh, um, will you be able to um, own this issue? I don't think I would be able to work on this. I can update the issue with details, but I wouldn't be able to implement here the changes. Um, when you any um or pretend any other resource from your site can work on this issue, and also, um, as I just uh, shared that, uh, uh, not only the uh, default behavior for the existing flag, we also need to. Um, I write down the um, uh, what's the approach for the signature uh, format. Is there any other resource from your sites can work on this issue? Not. Yeah, I remember previously, uh, I think uh, really? maybe it is you, Pradesh. Another. Yeah. Sorry, Vani. Yeah, currently we don't have any. Uh, so. Yeah. 
Uh, Pratesh, I remember uh, previously you mentioned that there will be a uh, new resource join the community. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. so enough. Like we hire, but unfortunately he's leaving the team, so I don't have we don't have any resource. Do you have any um? I mean, um, how much time or any timeline? For example, in in three months, in six months, any idea about that? No, I can talk to me. I can come back on that. I don't have any timeline right now. Okay. Probably only in the so let me talk to the and I can come back here. Okay. When are you planning to release this? What's the timeline you we are looking for this? Um so uh this is also that we needed to discuss because we we just released one dot two, right? Um, and we received uh, feedbacks and uh, uh, issues on 1.2. And currently, we are working on the 1.3, uh, specifically uh, the RC1 for the security audit. Uh, I, I think that's uh, at least the 1.3 is the uh, release that we planned for uh, September. But uh, uh, we also needed to consider, uh, yeah, September, we also needed to consider the uh, feedback uh, and some results from the audit uh, that will uh, decide um, when we can release uh, 1.3 to address uh, the security audit um, issues. Then after that, we will plan for notation V2. And, and uh, uh, currently, um, let me switch back to the to the agenda. So currently, I see uh, the referrals API we, we already uh, discussed. Uh, there are two other major epics we will plan for notation V2. It doesn't mean that we will release all in notation V2. V2. Uh, maybe a taxation could be uh, 2.1, but this is uh, what we needed to uh, discuss and align the scopes so that we can plan uh, milestones for V2. So uh, what I list are the most uh, important features that uh, we already see for the notation V2. Uh, there could be others, uh, other improvements or other features that over time we discovered. Um, that is also why resources are important because currently we are uh, focusing on the CRL. So if we want to have the, uh, for example, notation V2 uh, to be planned earlier, uh, as Pradesh previously mentioned that uh, using reverse API are quite uh, uh, important, um, but we are lacking of a resource, right? So, um, So that uh, we, we cannot, at least based on the current status, we cannot have the V2 to, to release in a very, for example, um, in, in, in three months time frame. What we'll, what we'll do is I and Pratesh will get back to Niyas, uh, discuss about this and uh, get back to you. Okay. Yeah. And this is also related to the uh, blob sign. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, previously, we have the specification uh, ready, right? We have the library ready, but uh, we missed uh, the part for the CLI part, especially. So, um, yeah, we also need the resource to working on that. And this feature is quite important. Um, yeah. So, um, Wani, when do you think you can... Um, get back to us on the resource so that we can properly plan um, plan the scope and also the time for the notation way too. I get back once I discuss with Nia, so he, I'll let him. Okay. Yeah. 
I think this is important. Uh, uh, yeah, please uh, get back to us. Yeah, as soon as you can. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Uh, so let me uh, put this issue uh, Pradesh you created to uh, to the milestone 2.0. Okay, then we will later dis uh, decide on who will uh, work on this issue. That sounds good to me. At least we'll have one place where we can look at all the things which we want to do in 2.0. Yeah. And there. Uh, Shui, do you have any comments? Uh, I will mark this issue for 2.0. I think uh, later on we need to uh, add more information about this uh, uh, issue. Uh no, uh I don't have any concerns. Uh by the way, uh I do I think I do have add a label for the V two. You can also set up the label. Okay. Uh, let me put to the milestone. I think you can type V two maybe. Uh this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because labels has color. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is generally, I think for, uh, I mean, for this label, it means um, enhancements or bug fixing related to the notation way two, right? But uh, we could have a different milestone for releasing, right? This is just to easily fi uh, filter out that the features that we planned for the for the V two. Uh, yes. So you can have V two la label, and then you can have milestone two point one if we have later. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we can also use the label to, uh, to mark the issues for now because some, uh, as I mentioned, some issues we may plan for, uh, two thousand one, right? But currently we can at least, uh, mark those issue, uh, for V two. Then later on we can decide on the milestone because. Uh, uh, by default, we are seeking for a uh, three or four months release cadency, but this depends on um, also the scope and also the resource so that we can um, decide what we want to release for uh, each milestone. Um, another Okay, so for the blob sign, um, Wally, please get back to us whether you have a resource. If no, then we will uh, decide later from the community point of view on the prioritization to see whether um, we will have some other folks working on this feature. But uh, please um, discuss with Nias on the resource first, then we can decide this later. Yes, sure. Yeah. Another epic feature is related to the uh, attestation. Um, and uh, currently, there is the, not a good issue for the attestation. So I will create one and uh, briefly uh, discuss uh, what we want to achieve um, for the attestation. I think later on, we will uh, trigger more discussion around this because uh, uh, they are um, there are several aspects that we need to uh, discuss for the attestation. Uh, for example, the attestation format um, and uh, whether we should uh, follow the in total attestations or any other attestation format. And also, and also we see that there are some 
um, size issue related to some attestation, for example, the spawn file could be very big and based on our approach on the attestations, uh, whether we sign the, um, um, similarly, the uh, descriptor as we do for the uh, blob sign, or um, if we want to uh, adopt uh, in total attestation, it, it is different. So there are uh, different aspects we needed to discuss and uh, also um, and align the way forward. So I will first create an issue to give a very over high level overview on the attestation support. And uh, so with that, we can uh, mark it for V2. Then later on, once we have more uh, information about the proposal, I will create another um, uh, issues or uh, sorry, uh, create a, a discussion um, PR for it so that we can uh, we can discuss. Okay. Um, do you see any other epic feature that uh, we will consider for notation V2? Yeah, I think uh, even though it's fine because the currently, the currently epic feature, I think uh, uh, from the six months uh, point of view or even uh, for the first three months for the next year, I think uh, it's uh, um, from my perspective, it's, uh, it's enough. And over time we can, um, we can see whether there are other uh, epic features that we need to consider for uh, notation way two. Okay. Um, we still have time. So I would like to um, try to the issues for 1.3 and also uh, the issues that uh, are listed in the feature, a uh, future and also discuss milestone. If you any have any other topic to discuss, if not, I will. We can try to those issues. Uh, I think uh, those issues in the future and the discuss uh, some are from very um, some are very old issues that we need to um, resolve them. Okay. Uh, then let's do the charge. Uh, so currently we are under the notation issues. So let's first check the future milestone. Yeah, this one is for the auto general generated CR reference doc in the notation repo. This is uh, actually we are asking for help from the community. It was marked as good first issue. So uh, I would say let's uh, uh, keep this issue in the in the future as a good first issue. Okay. Uh, the next one is extend the certificate expiry. Yeah, this is actually for the uh, test certificate. So currently we have a one day expiry. So the user is asking for extend the expiry of a certificate, testing certificate. I think Feynman provided, I think it's a very long time ago, Feynman provided a, a workaround. Uh, 
uh, and since then there's no feedback. Uh, I think if we think this is still a valid ask to have a, a longer validity for the test certificates, but if it is not our priority at this moment, we can keep this in the future milestone. I think we can provide higher validity because do we have a flag to specify expiry? No, currently we don't have that. I mean, I do, I do, I do agree with the sentiments here because, let's say, if I try to, even I am trying notation, I try to install it, create a certificate today, and I. I somehow got diverted to other task. Now tomorrow, if I come, the certificate is no longer valid. Sounds yeah, like yes, bad first experience. First experience. Yeah, I think we we can make it to a month or fifteen, like two weeks or something like that. At, at least I'm assuming like most of the time, user won't be able to complete like their setup and everything in one day because they also need to set up their repositories or registries and things like that. So having mm -hmm. Having anything, having anything bigger than one day should be like we should have anything bigger than one day. I am fine with any value unless it's. I think for me, if if it's not long, if it's less than a year or like a month, I'm fine with that. Yeah. The, the the intention of like just to reiterate here, the intention of having one day expiry was so that users don't start using that test certificate for their production scenario. That was the intention here to set one day yes. but if it's hurting the primary use case we should update the value yeah yeah um i think uh, uh i think this issue should be uh kept in this uh uh, future milestone it, it's valuable, but uh, we still, uh, we, we need the resource to work on that, right? So, I think this should be relatively small change. Let me see. It should be less than a day. Let me. I can try to find out. Give me two minutes. Yeah, but we need to align on a new, uh, new value, right? Uh, uh, we can do it offline. I mean, this is the number you pick. It's like, obviously, there would be the uh, opinions, but should not take much time. And coaching should be relatively simple, just updating one parameter, I hope. Yeah, you mean the parameter in, in a code, right? We, we don't have a parameter for yeah, set I mean, uh, value. Yes, I'm not sure whether we want to expose it. We can have a default of 14 instead of one day. That's what I was thinking, but we, like there are two options either we exp we do more work and expose the parameter, or we can make default a bigger value so that it suffice for most of the use case. And then we can open another issue saying that if we want to make it configurable, that would be another issue. Because when a customer is trying, they probably don't want to configure the value. <laughs> They will ninety percent yeah, go yeah. default value. <clears throat> yeah, should should we keep it or um protect you want you want to take a quick look on this? Give me a minute. Uh, yeah, we can move to next one. I can. I want to quickly take a look. How much is the effort for this? Yeah, uh, I will take a note. Okay. Uh. So for the time being, I will keep it in the future milestone. It, it is valuable. Uh, we just needed to figure out um, the effort and also whether uh, we have a resource working on this. So I will keep it here. Uh,
Uh, this is actually from you, Pradesh, uh, almost one year ago. Is still valid? I think so. They are still valid. I think that's still valid. It's still valid. Okay. Uh, now, second point is valid. Yep. Okay. I think then we can remove this uh, question. Um, so Shiwei or Patrick Junjie, do you have any question on this? I think uh, uh, when I added the label here at that time, there should be some reason for it. It's still almost one year ago. So this means that uh, uh, we needed to validate the trust or trust policy configuration first, right? Pradesh, if I understood correctly. Yeah, I mean, this, so there are two problems here. First one, you are correct about the first one. For second one, I think we need to update the specification because there are two conflicting, there are two conflicting statements in the specification. So that means if uh, trust or trust policy is malformed, there's no need to fetch yep. this signature, right? Because uh, it's malformed, right? Yep, I have a question. So when this issue is created, do you have something like a uh, notation certain import? Oh, no, not certain, but I mean the policy import. Uh, Policy import. Policy import is, uh, I think we, we should have that because policy import is uh, is in our stable release, the, the first stable release. Yeah, so because before, be yeah, because before, before, before that command, uh, we don't have any method to validate the uh, the trust and trust policy, uh, unless it's loaded, right? I mean, when when it's loaded, uh, and verified. But if we use uh, the the policy import, that means uh, those policies and trust stores are validated. Uh, um, uh, when the uh, policy is imported, so that means uh, they're always not malformed. You are partially oh. correct because there can be a use case if someone goes and modifies trust policy locally on the host or anything like that. In that use case, trust policy and trust store can be invalid. But, but in that case, everything fails. It makes sense, right? Yes, but we should give a proper error message. I think the issue when the issue was raised, the error message we used to give customer signature verification failed. Oh, I see. So, so, so it's not a um implementation. I mean, it's not a logic bug. It's kind of a error message improvement. Yes, and ideally, also you want to have a valid trust or trust policy before you go and fetch signatures, right? Because if trust or trust policy is not valid, we cannot verify a signature. And as far as I remember, right now, current implementation. We fetch first signature, first signature, and then we go and verify trust and trust policy. Oh, I see. So basically, we verify the local stuff first, and then if there's nothing wrong, we can start uh having outgoing requests. 
So yeah, that basically it's a, a perf uh, improvement. Yeah, and it should also automatically correct the error message because if it's invalid, it will get the error message first, the correct error message first. Okay, then I think the issue is clear. So uh, E, I think this one is a error message improvement plus the perf improvement. Yeah, uh, we can remove this question. Uh, we can also, I think we, we have other labels, right? I remember we have- uh, It seems we don't have a perf label, we can create one. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have one. Um, can you help to create one, Shui? Uh, sure. Let me do it now. Um, so for this one, we keep this in the future milestone. Is that okay? Yeah. The future milestone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it's uh, like a, a backlog. So later on, once we complete other priorities or we have more resources, we can pick up uh, items from uh, future milestone. Um, okay, this one is from Freeman is actually support uh, sign uh, with the key from GitHub. I think this is the valid ask. Um, yeah, I need to remove this still. Uh, e, I have just uh, uh, created the perf label. Thank you. Uh, you probably need to refresh the page. Okay. Thank you, Shui. Uh, for this one, I think it's valuable. Um, we also, but currently, uh, I mean, we have other prioritized work. So I would think uh, the current milestone is, uh, um, is correct. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just saw Pradesh your message. So it's a, it's a not a one line change. No, it's <laughs> not. Sadly, it's, unfortunately, it's not. I thought it's a one line change, but yep, it's not. We need to update it here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so anyway, I think uh, we put it in the in the future milestone. We can, uh, once we uh, release some features, we can always uh, come back to the future milestone to to see whether we need to uh, plan those work items. Uh, yeah, this one sign local images. This one so currently is also in the in in the future. I'm thinking that we can, whether we can consider the OCI image layout for the notation way two. So currently we have the experimental feature right, uh, image OCI layout, and we find the. Uh, uh, actually, real user case that uh, user can um, study the sign OCI image layout, especially with Docker support uh, content D as the uh, engine, a stable engine option. With that, uh, the uh, Docker uh, save, for example, previously Docker save will save the Docker formatted uh, tab or, um, but with the Contender D engine, uh, it will support the OCI image layout by default. 
um, and also we see users that uh, they are starting sign uh, images, uh, trying to considering without any registry uh, on file system, which will be more uh, secure. And with OCI image layout, the digest will not be changed. So it will be easy for users to, um, to publish uh, the OCI image layout uh, with any publishing process. Yeah, so I'm thinking that in notation way two, maybe we can consider in stabilize the sign uh, OCI image layout feature. I'm curious, do we have any feedback on this experimental feature? Like, is, was, is there any feedback if you want to make any change? Like, I'm I'm all in for making it like stable feature, but do we have any feedback from customers or users about this feature? Okay, they would like to have certain functionality in certain way or any feedback? Yeah, so uh, previously the main feedback is that to generate OCI image layout, they needed to update their, that uh, they are build a process for it. But currently, uh, as I mentioned with the container D, uh, supported by the um, uh, dock as an engine, which by default produce this OCI image layout, they are um, more user studied uh, trying this, uh, um, this feature and also considering this uh, possibility to sign uh, image on file system without registry. Um, but uh, we uh, our future is experimental, right? So um, for user to um, use it, we need to have a plan for the stable version so that they will um, apply it in their production. Sounds good to me. Yeah, so I think in V2 timeline, we can consider in uh, stabilize this uh, feature. Of course, we need to uh, have a complete story first. So previously, we we rely on, for example, build X, but currently, with the engine change and uh, and also with the popularity of container D, so uh, it, it will be easy for you to, to do that without uh, any big changes on the on their build system. So I would suggest that we can uh, first mark this as V2, then later on we can decide on which V2 milestone we will target for. Okay, we have two minutes. I think we can maybe finish one or two at support for multi-trust policy. Yeah, this is from this year. And the user want to seems contributed to Notary project. Uh, okay, it is uh, under a multi-tenancy environment. Yeah, I think uh, we need the time to uh, process this issue and uh, we already own time for this meeting. So maybe we can continue next time.
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Pradesh, uh, please, we, we need your support on the CRL PRs. Please help to prioritize uh, your time uh, reviewing those PRs. And we can, yeah, communicate offline on it for any issues. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Have a nice day, evening. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah, thank you. Bye.